Hi, it's Mrs. Green. We're going to do a lesson on subtracting integers. So when we subtract integers, the rule is that we want to change the operation of subtraction to addition because we already know how to add integers. So if we can simply change the operation to addition, we can go to our addition rules of integers, and that will be easier than remembering a whole bunch of subtraction rules that will be different. So we want to always change our operation. So I'm going to show how that's done, and I'm going to write the rule on the next page. So for your key information, I've put it two different ways. I've put it kind of a long way that would be more like a textbook. When subtracting integers, you want to change the operation from subtraction to addition. When you do that, you can't just make the change in the operation. You also must change all the numbers that come after that operation to their opposites. Um, a simply, simpler, shorter way would be to say change subtraction to addition. So that's what I've written down here. Another way to say it, change subtraction to addition. So we're changing the operation of subtraction to addition and then change the following numbers to their opposites. So we've talked about opposites. I have my misspelling of the day, my usual. Um, we've talked about what opposites are. So if you have four, the opposite would be negative four. So this is where they come into play. We're changing an operation. We have to change the numbers past that operation also. So let's see what that looks like in some examples. I've got three examples on the next page. Example 1a, 1a, negative 56 subtract negative 9. So the first thing we want to do is change addition to, I said that wrong, change subtraction to addition. I'm going to do that with a different color. So you can see where I changed it. Now I can't stop there. I have to also change the number that comes after it to its opposite. If I wanted to just rewrite the number, uh, rewrite the expression, it would look like this. Negative 56 now plus a positive 9. Now I have a situation where I'm adding integers. We can go back to our integer rules of addition. And I'm going to subtract. I have two different signs. I've got a minus and a plus. And going back, remembering that we have to use subtraction. So subtract. Using subtraction, I get... 47. And then going back to my original, I look at my larger number. It's a negative, so my answer is a negative 47. Example 1b, negative 14 minus 21. Again, I'm going to change my operation so that I'm going to rewrite this so that my operation is no longer subtraction. I'm going to change it to addition and then change the number right after it, which is 21, to a minus 21. So I changed my subtraction to addition, changed the number behind it to its opposite. Now I have, um, I'm adding integers, they have the same sign, so I add them, add them, I'm using my integer rules again, I get 35, but the common sign, back to my original problem, is a negative. So a negative 35 is my answer. Third example, problem 1c, 24 minus a negative 15. Again, my first step is to change subtraction to addition, change the sign of the number behind it to its opposite. So I changed my subtraction and my negative 15 to addition and a positive 15. Now I have a pretty simple math problem I'm adding two integers that have the same sign, so I add them, and I take the common sign, which is a positive and a positive. When it's blank, it's positive, so positive 39 is my result. All right, here is your practice application. Again, I apologize for my handwriting or my, my stylist writing. You've got negative 11 minus a minus 7, negative 14 minus a minus 14, and 32 subtract 40. So you're going to change all those to the, the addition and change all the numbers to their opposites and see what you get. The end.